Schools are more than places where teachers deliver lessons and students do work. They are places where people connect and where they collaborate. In a world gone crazy, this is The Matter Show. To have purpose is to be engaged in something larger than the self. This past week has seen our college students engaged in a variety of purposeful activities. At Redham House and Plunger, we encourage all students to get involved in extramural pursuits outside of the classroom in order to find balance, purpose and meaningful engagement with other students. By committing to a team and or a cultural ensemble whose collective goal is greater than the individual pursuits of its members, goes some way to achieve this sense of purpose and teaches lessons that cannot be taught in a classroom. Although the lockdown restrictions have, to some extent, brought disappointment at the loss of sports seasons and postponement of our dramatic production, it has encouraged us to find new and unique activities that we perhaps may not have had the opportunity to introduce into our college. By involving yourself in the various inter-house competitions and collaborations certainly assists in keeping a positive mindset at a time when others might be feeling incredibly frustrated or even anxious.
results of the first round of the Come Dine With Me Rhythm competition are in. Well done to all the teams for completing your first challenge. In the junior chef section, in third place with 10 house points was Sky Pensler. In second place went to Ruth Kaseni with 10 points. And in first place was Faye Ellis, who has won 30 house points, including 5 points for best video. In the senior chef category, third place went to Jessica Martin, who achieved bonus points for best video. In second place was Dia Lachman with 10 points. And in first place, with 20 points, was Kari Creel. Well done, guys. Access granted. Hello, chefs. Agent Ribs here with your next mission. Your mission for this week is to select one member of your team to complete the challenge. The chef has to complete and film the task by Monday at 5 p.m. Don't forget your dish has to be original. No existing recipes may be used. Come on guys, keep it unique and creative. The final date of this task is Monday the 27th of July. Chefs have to use at least four of the following ingredients. Butter, chicken, orange, pasta, cinnamon, coriander, chili or broccoli. Entry ingredients allowed this week are milk, flour, butter, salt and pepper, oil, sugar, eggs and cream. Our first ever inter-house visual art competition is based on an initiative started by the Getty Art Museum during lockdown restrictions in the United States this year. Since visiting an art gallery was out of the question, the folks over at the Getty Museum in Los Angeles came up with a creative way to keep art lovers occupied by challenging them to recreate famous artworks at home. Well done to those who entered this novel Inder House competition. Another way in which a sense of purpose is achieved is through community service. The importance of this aspect of a Rhythm House Amtslang education is echoed in our school's motto adorned on every badge, we shall give back. It was wonderful to see so many of you students engaged in making face masks as part of our Mandela Day commemoration last week. We encourage every student to give meaningfully of their time and a host of community service initiatives have also been identified by our outreach portfolio. Show me one you made.
of our college students went on to engage in further community service activities the next day, on Mandela's actual birthday. Demi de Chamoy in grade 11 made food parcels in support of an organisation feeding homeless children. John O'Hicks in grade 10 spent his time making sandwiches in support of the Grace Family Church Mandela Day Drive. And Aidan Johnson in grade 8 made and sold 67 bottles of lemonade in support of the Vambai project. During this time of lockdown, it's been difficult to connect with others in our wider community. But this term, we all have the opportunity to get involved in outreach. A document will be sent out to each and every one of you with the details of what you can do. Whether it's building a wash station, making face masks, knitting or crocheting squares, collecting non-perishable foods, donating blood, making eco bricks, or even just collecting bottle tops, you can all get involved. to submit your hours through the Redham House and Schlanger app under the College Outreach tab. Let's all get involved and make a difference in our wider community. And happy birthday to the following students who have birthdays next week, including Mr. Lance. As you are aware, at Redham House and Klanga, we operate on a servant leadership model as opposed to a prefect model. This means that every matric student is given the opportunity to play a leadership role in some aspect of the life of the college. The matrics of 2020 are commended for achieving this despite the challenges of a pandemic and virtual schooling. The overwhelming majority of them have remained committed to the program and these students have gained valuable life experiences, not only in leading projects, but they have also developed tenacity and the ability to find creative solutions when the odds seem stacked against them. Today we wish to acknowledge and commend our grade 12 students who have fulfilled the requirements of the Level 1 Leadership Certificates. Today we also recognise the extramural achievements of our students prior to the lockdown measures. Congratulations to the following sportsmen and women on receiving their awards. In addition, today sees the awarding of two particularly remarkable and rare awards of honours, the highest accolades that the college can bestow on any worthy recipient. In keeping with our balanced approach, I am thrilled to announce one Sports Honours Award and one Cultural Honours Award. And in keeping with our co-ed school, these awards go to one boy and one girl. <laughs> is awarded to a student who has fulfilled the requirements of full colours and has been recognised by national bodies for outstanding achievement in a particular cultural activity. We are very proud to announce that Taraya Bonin has achieved her honours in art. Let's have a look at her achievements. 
Soraya won first prize in the prepared art section of the DNC at Stepford last year in October. This is a provincial competition and she was selected to represent KZN in a national competition this year. She has also been recognised by the South African Nationals in Association with Talent Africa, SANTA. Taraya also competed and won a national competition run by Dala in collaboration with the South African Artist magazine and has had her artwork published in this magazine. Congratulations on this phenomenal achievement. As is our tradition, we ask our college to please be upstanding in acknowledging the award of honours. to the staff of Redham House on Klunga, who continue to encourage our students to find joy and purpose in a variety of ways, not in schoolwork alone, but in activities that speak to their hearts and their dreams too. At a time when such hope seems lost, it is important to keep our dreams alive and our end goals in mind. We need to keep hope alive, and we can do this by looking outside of ourselves.